We have another alumni member from William Patterson University on the phone with us right now. Kevin Burkhart joins us. Kevin Squared reunited right here on WPSC FM radio as Kevin Burkhart joins Kevin Knight for the first time on the air in 20 years. How the hell are you, Kevin? Is it really 20 years? That's, that's, let's see, that, that was wow. That's a wow number. Holy cow. It, um, I'm good. I'm good, Kev. Uh, can't complain, man. How are you? Thanks for having me on. I'm doing great. Yeah, it's been 20 years since we were sitting in that rickety press box. I guess you could call it press box, that wooden contraption at Whiteman Stadium doing play by play on WPTV for William Patterson football. And then we'd go across the field and do, uh, we did uh, men's and women's soccer. We did William Patterson baseball. We did softball. We did everything. Yeah, it, those were great times, you know. And, and, and you know, I, I, I don't think, well, I, I know I wouldn't be where I am today without that. I mean, it was one of those things. <laughs> You and I were in the same boat. We had no idea, right? We were just showing None. up like, hey, let's let's call a game. And we showed up in that football game. We showed up at about 6 o'clock with like a roast beef sandwich. Like, oh, cool, we're here. We had no idea what, you know, preparation was or what everybody else was doing to prepare the truck. And, every, you know, no idea they were there at 10 in the morning. Getting, <laughs> up. So it was kind of an eye-opener to being, you know, a clown out of high school who knew nothing to like, oh, man, okay, so – actually have to work at this and um we had some good times i'll tell you we had you know we had so it, it's so cool because so many of the people that you and i uh, did this with are you know successful and in the field and you run into them and you know without so many of the, the teachers and professors we had and certainly without dan cleary i, I mean he, he was the absolute best tying it all together so yeah man at good times right i mean i think about it a lot Dan was the best, and also we had a special guest adjunct professor while we were here at William Patterson University, a legendary NBA, NHL, NFL broadcaster, Major League Baseball broadcaster, also with the Yankees. Spencer Ross was brought in by the communication department to teach a sports broadcasting class, and I took it in the fall semester, and you took it in the spring semester, and learning from Spencer was unbelievable. Yeah, it, 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 it was great because he just taught you how to, again, it was all about preparation, you know, and, and that's one thing that, you know, if you have one of the students listening now who's trying to get into broadcasting uh, on the radio station or, or whatever in the communication building, yeah, it's all about that. And he, he told us how to prepare, what kind of things to do, how to study, you know, how to lay out your charts, as they say, you know, right in the biz cab. It's like, you know, is it, how do you, it's, it's essentially your, your cheat sheet, your study guide. You know, we had no idea. Um, so to have it, I think that was a beautiful thing about being where we were is because we were so close to New York. We had so many people who had done the job, you know, that were producers, like obviously a John Roll Rhodes, you know, that had experience in the field and brought that experience to us. And that was I think unmatched anywhere at, at, at any university of any size. As, as a guest speaker in one of Spencer's classes, he brought in Ian Eagle as a guest lecturer in class. I mean, where else can you get that as a college student yeah. to learn from, you know, two of the best? No, exactly. It's uh it's great, man. I mean, it's uh it's, it, it's so many good memories from, you know, William Patterson and all the people and all the lessons learned there from me. And I know you the same, right. And, and, I think that's the beauty of this week. You being back on the air, I love it. It's crazy. I mean, over the my career took a detour because I was working professionally at WGHT Radio with you 20 years ago, 1500 AM, right down the road in Pompton Lakes. And one of the local wrestling shows came to town. They gave us tickets to give away over the air. They asked if I would be the special guest ring announcer. I did it, you know, thinking it was a one night gig and they came over to me and said, "Wow, you're pretty good at this. You know, you should you should think about doing this. I said, well, I work in radio professionally. You know, I love to be a ring announcer. They're like, no, you're a foot taller than all the wrestlers. You should be a wrestler. That was 21 years ago. So my career yeah. took a detour. I was lucky enough to wrestle in Madison Square Garden, which not many people can say. And you are now. You know, doing play-by-play -play on Fox Sports, NFL Fox Sunday, and you host in the spring and summer. 
MLB baseball studio work on Fox. So tell us about, you know, what the transition was like going from like college radio to then doing stuff at WFAN, WCBS News Radio 88 to SNY with the Mets and now to Fox Sports. Well, I just think, Kev, you, you know, and and I think anyone who's at William Patterson right now will, will get this. You know, you, you take your lessons along the way, right? I mean, you, you know, each stop you learn a little bit more. You pick up certain things. You meet people who are going to be great helps to you throughout your career. And I think it was it was the same. We both started, obviously, at William Patterson and then started the same radio station. And that was a super small radio station that most people didn't ever know existed. But you know what? Uh, there were a lot of great things about it. I mean, we got to, you know, we got to kind of, you know, lick our chops and, and get started. Obviously, it was a career break for you, you know, to get you into the field that you've been in for two decades, which is awesome. And for me, it was a way to kind of make mistakes and figure out what, you know, how to become good. Um, so, you know, and without that, without that practice ground, I don't think I don't think anyone can say, okay, well, you'd be where you are today without this. There's always like rungs along the ladder. So like all those places to me, I've always tried to learn, try to get better, and I'm still trying to get better. I mean, you know, I, th- I think that's a continual thing. So, you know, I, it, it's just been a it's been a fun run, and, and as you know, as you do the same, like I, I just attribute a lot to where I went to school. You know, I think, and there's a, there's an underdog mentality to it too. I think there is there's a lot to be deemed from going to a an intimate school where you know a lot of people and get to spend one-on-one time with people and build those relationships. So uh, I think that's what's great about William Patterson. And and we thought the communication department here, specifically the radio and TV station, was great when we were here 20, 21 years ago. The things they're doing now are absolutely unbelievable. The studios are are beyond state-of-the-art. The radio station just won the Marconi Award as non-commercial radio station of the year. And what, the NACB, best college radio station, 2012, 13, 17, and 18. They're going for three in a row. So when people hear William Patterson, you know, I came from William Patterson and radio and TV that definitely carries a lot of weight and you know they definitely set you up for success well I think they've done it to a lot of people you know and, and I you know the cool thing is I think it's a you know well I know I don't think it, it, it's a really tight-knit community I you know I was fortunate enough to give the commencement address a few years back and you know so honored to do that <laughs> And I can't tell you how many people from that day that I've run into either via they've reached out to me um, or I've just bumped into, you know, in, whether it's in the business or just on the street. And, you know, they say, hey, you said something that, you know, kind of hit home with me and I've tried to do the same thing and now I'm doing this. And it's the coolest thing in the world to me, you know, to meet those people that are, you know, have kind of gone in the same path and, you know, striving for the same goals that we all have. So uh, that's been really, really gratifying. Kevin Burkhart from Fox Sports, a William Patterson University graduate. I can't thank you enough for joining me for a few minutes here tonight during the 30th anniversary alumni takeover here at Brave New Radio 88.7 WPSC-FM. And which game do you have this weekend? I have the Packers and Falcons this weekend. So, you know, it'll be no drama at all. Packers just fire the coach. Oh, my God. (laughs) Four games to go, and he's out of there. Yeah, so uh, I'll, uh, that'll be an interesting weekend and a cold weekend in Green Bay. Now, so, you, you know, I'm a California boy now. I'm not used to this cold anymore, Kevin. Yeah, you're used to sitting on the beach in Point Pleasant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little colder than that in Green Bay currently. All right. I expect when I tune in on DirecTV to watch your game this Sunday, I expect to hear plenty of Airplane the Movie references. Well, I mean, obviously, I mean, especially if you were there, that was that's a that's a lock. Come yeah. on. Now it, the, they have a nice spread here for the alumni. They have steak or fish. Which one should I have? Oh, clearly, I would go for the lasagna. Absolutely, right. lasagna. It is Kevin Burkhart, Fox Sports, William Patterson University graduate. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Kevin, it's good to hear your voice again, buddy. Keep doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.